I seriously wish someone would have had this conversation with me when I was about 14 years old because it would have made my child free journey just a little bit more straightforward. Let's just start with number 10. A very good place to start. You can have a happy and fulfilled life without kids. How many times have people told you that you're eventually going to be bored if you don't have kids? How many times have people told you that holidays and vacations and celebrations are just not as fun if you don't have kids? It's a bit extreme. Life is only boring if you're a boring person. It's true that a lot of celebrations do revolve around kids and food, of course, because who doesn't love to eat? You can still make this celebration super fun. Just create your own traditions. You do not have to live vicariously through kids to have a fun life. And let's be honest, life doesn't stop being fun just because you don't have kids. Not everybody is going to support your choice or even understand your choice. And I would say the majority of people don't understand the child-free life. And unfortunately, yes, that includes family. And they're definitely not shy to let you know their thoughts and feelings about it. Partly because they don't agree with it and partly because they just don't understand it. Why is it crazy to say I might not want kids? Oh, it's not crazy. It's just wrong. You only think you don't want kids, but once you have kids, you realize that you did want them. A lot of people are going to doubt your ability to make the right choice for your own life. We're making the choice to go against the grain of what almost everybody else in society is doing. And that means you're going to kind of stick out like a sore thumb. And because of that, there's going to be a lot of pressure put on you to make a different decision for your life. It seems that most of the time people just want us to do the thing that everybody else is doing because it makes sense and because, well, everybody's doing it. We all know what that criticism looks and feels like. But you have to remember that you still have a purpose in life. We're often told that the only reason we're here on Earth is to raise the next generation. And for those people out there that want to raise the next generation, that is fantastic. But some of us just don't want to do that. Ugh. So then we might be asking ourselves, okay, well, what is our purpose in life? But you know what? That's for you to decide. Nobody can tell you what your purposes in life because everybody is fulfilled by different things. Everyone has different passions and it's totally okay if it takes you a really, really long time to figure out what yours is. You just being you in your corner of the world is going to be a positive influence on somebody. This next one is really strange. People start to get weirdly fascinated by your lack of procreation. And this is really awkward when people say things like, do you even know how kids are made? Or you better get the husband in the bedroom and make it happen before you're too old to have children. Why do people say stuff like this? Stop it! Having kids is super personal and it's really not anyone's business. So just be prepared. I mean, I hope for your sake it doesn't, but if it does, you're in good company. Because parenthood is propped up on this pedestal and meant to be this absolute pinnacle of what a human should be, when you choose not to be a parent, I feel like there's a lot of pressure to do something extra because you're not a parent. You do not have to do anything to make up for the fact that you are not going to be a mother or you are not going to be a father. You don't have to work 60 hours a week. You don't have to go to graduate school. You don't have to invent something. You don't have to be part of a competitive work environment. You can just be you. And if those are things you wanted do great but you don't have to do them to make up for the fact that you aren't having a kid you also don't have to parent something just because you don't have a kid i know there's this whole thing going around right now like pet parents and plant parents plant parent beginner plant parent i'm such a plant mom a plant parent plant mom or plant dad and again if you want to be either of those you can but don't feel like you have to mother something or father something you can just be you without having a title that somehow links you to being a parent now, I would by no means consider myself a plant parent, but this is Fergus. He's been in my home now for nearly two months and he's still alive, which is pretty amazing because I'm actually terrible at taking care of plants. So we're keeping our fingers crossed for Fergus. He's looking good so far. I did notice that his leaves were getting a little dusty, so I should probably clean those up for him. And thank you to everyone who jumped on my Instagram or my YouTube community tab to offer a name for him and then vote for which name you wanted. I think he is a great looking Fergus. You do not have to go to therapy to be fixed because you don't want kids. And no matter what kind of insensitive things people are going to say to you, remember that you are not deficient or broken or immature or less lovable or less valuable because you are not a parent. Now this next one is something that I have personally struggled with a lot. People keep saying it to you and you keep thinking, well, if everyone's saying it, it must be true, right? But you're not gonna change your mind. 
Okay, disclaimer, there are a few people that do change their minds, but for those of us that are very solid in not wanting kids, we are not gonna change our minds. You are not gonna change your mind when you finish school, when you get the right career, when you buy a house, when you meet somebody, when you get married, when you've paid off your debt, when you have the right sized house. You're not gonna change your mind when all your friends are having babies or when you hold a baby or when you hit the age of 30. If you don't want a kid, you don't want a kid. It doesn't matter if all of those things are happening in your life, you're not going to change your mind. So here's the ironic thing. As I was hitting all of these milestones in my own life, the idea that I didn't want to be a mother just grew and grew and grew. It got stronger with every year that passed. It was the exact opposite of what people told me was going to happen. When people are so persistent in saying that kind of stuff to you, it's almost like they get inside your head and it makes you think that like there's something wrong with you and that that person knows you better than you know yourself, which let's be honest, we all know that that's not true. Nobody is living inside your head, experiencing life the way that you're experiencing it. Honestly, I think the most relieving thing to me ever was when I realized that these people had no idea what they were talking about when it came to my life. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? I knew what I wanted in life, I knew what I didn't want in life, and I was not changing my mind. You know, not everyone needs to have kids to be fulfilled. You're right. So you know when you were younger and adults would talk to you about having kids someday? This is what they typically say, when you have kids. Instead, they should be saying, if you decide to have kids someday, not when. Using the word when insinuates that you don't even have a choice in the matter, and even if you don't want kids, you're just going to have them because that's what we're all supposed to do. And I really wish someone had told me that when I was younger. And the number two thing that no one tells you about child-free life is that child-free life is even an option. Parenthood is always presented as, well, that is the option, that is the only option, and the only reason you wouldn't have kids is because you can't have kids, which is just so not true. You have the ultimate choice of whether or not you decide to be a parent. Is there pressure? And will you feel pressure? For sure, but remember, it is your choice. And I understand this is much more challenging in some social settings, in some cultures, in some societies, in some religious groups. It is very difficult to step outside of what is considered normal and doing the opposite. And you always have an online community of people that is going to support you if you are struggling and feel like you're alone in this. And that brings us all the way to the number one thing that nobody tells you about child-free life. And here it is. You're not gonna have many child-free friends. In fact, you may have no child-free friends at all. Because as time passes, most of your friends are going to be having children and you aren't. And everything changes when your friends start having kids and I figured that out pretty quickly when my best friend had a baby in our second year of university. And if you're sitting there thinking, oh my goodness, that's totally me, all of my friends have babies and I feel like the odd one out, this is the video you want to watch next because you're definitely going to be able to relate to it.